guys, it's Caleb from CNC Productions. Sorry about the lousy sound. I have uh, a new camera recorder, sort of. It's like a GoPro, but the cheap version. And let's see. Well, the company isn't on it, but I'll, I'll have a video on that for you guys. And uh, the the, uh, the mic is pointed away from me, and I have this mounted on my lamp, so I can't. Sh I can't. Oh, that that burning bulb is probably burning my well oh, my face off, and uh, my face is right next to it. But I get by. So this is a video of a review on the Rubik's the new and improved. Rubik's Cube by Rubik's Cup. You can buy one of these at Rubik's.com. You can't see that, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, but. And I'm going to teach you guys how to solve this layer by layer. One, the first layer, second layer, and third layer. First things first, I'll mix this up off camera and. I'll get it done. Okay, so we're fairly mixed up now. Here, just a sec. I'm going to fix my lighting situation a bit. And as you can see, we've got a red and orange. We've got a red center. I always like to work with a color I can easily see, so I'm going to work with a white center. First things first, we have to make the cross or the X as some people like to call it and to do that we have to find the edge pieces which go here these are corner pieces these are edge pieces and these are centers here the edge pieces we need to find ones that connect with this white and connect with one of these orange blue red and green so that we can uh, attach them onto that line it up and shift it into place onto there and we will have a stop we will have a cross back youtube i'm sorry about the delay actually it's been a day since i started it but um we will be now learning how to do the first layer it's not f2l it's a method i learned from a friend so we bring we have to line up all the white edge pieces here oh there here is one and it's connected but its orientation is wrong so to orient it properly we have to connect it to this bring this down and then we can bring this across and then it's lined up and it's ready Here's another one, it's green. It goes on the opposite side here. And because it's already lined up properly to flip, we can bring it across and then flip it up and we have that. Don't worry about these pieces right here. Those are the corner pieces and those will be put in next. Here is an orange. So we gotta flip this on the the other side of red is orange, blue is green, and yellow is white. So we flip this onto the other side, connect that, flip it up, and done. One more to go. It has to be red. Actually, no, because the green is connected improperly. We flip that green up move the red over flip the red up and now we have the cross which is the first step in the Rubik's Cube now we have to place in the corners and have them oriented properly to place in so we have a corner here that's not in the right position it's supposed to be here and just a second not in the right position and it has to be moved here and it has to be flipped like that so to do that we 
bring this down, flip this over, and this is now still connected. And we bring it back up, still connected, but now we have it in the optimal position. We slide it over, and now we have it between the red and the blue where it is supposed to go. Next step will be the place in the corner. We want to flip this to the left bring this down and then place in the corner and then we will put that up this corner is now properly placed between the red and the blue and the white next this is an improperly placed corner so what I like to do is just flip this down flip it over flip it up and I can orient it to the where I want it. Okay now. It is in optimal position. Right here. And we will want to move it here. So what we do is we take it over. Bring this down. Spin that. And put it, place it in. These two corners are now correct, but I accidentally moved this corner down it. How do we get that up without disrupting this? We have to move this into a position underneath one of these. And this one. Next step, we're going to hold it like this. Hold it right here. Bring this down flip this and bring this up we have successfully successfully put this in the optimal position we just have to slide it over a couple now it just has to be placed in bring this to the side be okay so there is another trick that I haven't showed you if this is on here, when it's here and here, <clears throat> I think of it as if you're on the left, you go right. And if your white is here, you on the right, you go left. So we're just going to flip that to the right, bring that down, place it in, and we now have s almost all. This one is now in optimal position. It moved itself when it when I was putting it. Now it is between the orange and the green. Since it's on the right side, flip it to the left, bring that down, flip it to the right, and bring it up. We now have the completed top and middles for this. Now we have to place in the corners. You have to make sure none of your corners that you're using have yellow on them when you're placing them in. So this one's good. And it's already connected to the one it's supposed to. Now we just look on the bottom to see what color it is. It's blue. And pretend this is like a magnet trying to run away from the blue. You shift this to the right because blue's on the left bring this down flip this into place bring this up that connects the two the two um, the edge piece and the corner piece and then you just want to flip this because it is now in the optimal position with this you want to go left because it's on the right bring this down to place in the corner and we now have, oh, and this was just an added bonus. The corner is placed in properly, and now we have the edge. Next, we want to find another. Here it is. And this is a trick that I learned. I figured out myself. You want to look for it, and since this is here, the green that's supposed to be connected to, and this is here. It was already in optimal position to bring this down, flip this over, bring this up, and then flip this over, bring that down, flip
lift that up and have it in place. So instead of moving it to the green and then flipping it back, we just flip that down much faster. Here's another red and blue. Now it is in optimal position. Red, blue. Red, blue. Nice. And then flip that. Rewatch the first algorithm as many times as it is necessary to mem memorize. put it in your memory and now we have that done oh one more to go and it is right here and since it's supposed to be connected to green and this isn't red red it's in optimal position so we'll just bring that down flip this over that puts that there we bring that up to connect that next we Flip this over, put that there, put place in the corner, and we have completed the second layer. Now this next step is the hardest, hardest possible thing you could have. The third layer is the hardest part, and this can take up the, this could be half of the video, this could be the half point, and this would take up the rest, because it is such the, the difficulty level is so high so but once you learn the algorithms you're going to be fine just a sec Ah, darn. I missed this up. That is what not to do when you're using a Rubik's Cube. is not to mess around until you're ready. Oh, crud. Well, I'm going to pause this video and then I'll stitch it back together. You know what, guys? I just figured I might as well go and show you how fast I'm done. And I'm done. And, just a sec. Okay, this, I messed it up again to show you guys. Um, if you are able to place in the corners correctly. Now, I'm going to speed through this and show you guys how quickly I can place in those edges that were misplaced, and I'm done. Pretend... Okay now, so let's pretend that these aren't here. Actually, maybe... Ah, well it doesn't work. So, this here, we pretend this is just the dot. And we want to have these here so we can move on to the next step. So to get those there, we would flip. Okay, have this front facing you. You flip it clockwise. You flip it up. Uh-oh. Yeah. You move this to there, the left. You flip it down, you move this back, and then you bring this back into position. And now we have on the line
Okay, now, uh, after having the dot, we now have this. So we want to have one face pointing to you, and the other pointing to your right and to you. Next, we perform the algorithm again. Bring the, that front counterclockwise up. Bring this up. Flip this to the left. Bring that down. Flip this to the right. And then we send that back down. We now have the line. Horizontally place the line, not vertically, horizontally. Do Perform the algorithm again, and you now have the cross. The next step is placing, uh, getting the edges properly aligned. So you want to find two edges that are correct, and then these two need to be flipped. So the trick to do that is... Watch this algorithm and perform it after me. Bring this up. Bring the right up. Flip the top to the left. Bring the right down. Or flip the top to the left twice. Bring the right down. Flip back. Bring the right up. Put it into place. And now you have the orange and the blue correct. And now you have these two wrong. And you want, again, you want this to be facing you, and then this to be going out, the incorrect ones. Perform that algorithm again. And then it looks like all of the pieces are incorrect, but if you flip it once, you're correct. And actually, the edges were not supposed to be placed in. And sometimes you'll have that happen. But to fix that, I'm going to really quickly set it up with all four edges incorrect. And show you the algorithm to fix the edges. Okay, now all four edges are incorrect. And now to fix... Okay, now there are all of these, except one, are incorrectly placed where they need to be. See, this isn't where it's supposed to be, this isn't where it's supposed to be, and this isn't where it's supposed to be. But this is. So, have that on your right side and perform this algorithm. Bring the left up, flip it to the left, bring the right up, flip the top to the left, bring that back down place this in and and then flip it to the right to realign those nothing has happened so we repeat that and now they are all correctly placed so next the, the next thing is this algorithm is for orienting them we want to bring the right up Flip it twice to the right. Bring the right down. Flip it once. Bring the right up. Flip it again. And then now it's all wrong. But we perform that algorithm on the other side. Let's see. And now they're correct. And just to show you, I'll flip that there. And now we have three here that cut um, my video cut out. But now we have three incorrect ones. And we want to perform that double algorithm like that. Um, we want to perform it once more. And your hold has to be right here. Perform it on the left. And now they are all oriented properly. And there's just one left. 
This is a parody because you cannot fix this. So, there. Now we have two incorrectly placed. And one is pointing here towards us, and one is pointing out. Instead of performing this algorithm two more times, we flip it over so that these are pointing out on the blue. Both of them. And then we perform that algorithm again. And we now have soft cube. Okay, to show you guys another one, this is where the two uh, diagonal edges are incorrect. Perform that algorithm again, with one of them being on the right. And now you are to this point again, with the blue. Now fix this there is no easy way to fix this because you can't just flip it on its side now because this is pointing out towards you and this one's pointing this end is pointing away this is pointing out so we perform that algorithm again And we're stuck with that parity because I flipped those incorrectly. But you would have seen that it would have gone to the two ones like this. If you had done it correctly and you had not cheated with this, you would have seen this. And so, I have covered every aspect of this and by the way just to let you know if you buy one of the newer ones the container it comes in will say on the back this Rubik's Cube has 43 quintillion combinations 43 quintillion combinations but it can sol be solved in relatively few moves. And I've just showed you a basic method that we have, my friend and I have come up with for solving the Rubik's Cube 3x3. Three three. Thank you for watching this video. Oh, now I come to the formal part. Thank you for watching this video. Please enjoy all my other videos as my sister and I will be making I will even have my friend on a couple of them. He is a huge player of, get this, Rigs of Rods. Never heard of it? Well, it is basically a monster truck video game. Which also has tons of different car simulators and trains and cabooses and you can even get planes and helicopters and they they have a hovercraft from episode 4 of the episode 4 of Star Wars that uh, Luke sells to get them on the trip to uh, a different planet to help save Princess Leia but that's a different time and by the way by Gorilla Tape or Duct Tape. This stuff has so many uses. I have patched, I don't know how many items with Gorilla Tape and Duct Tape. And they come in rolls with like that much more. So like up to there. So they're really nice. And so I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Which will be Actually, I have enough time. Yeah, okay. I'm going to show you a couple of...
Well, yeah. These would be patterns. You want to flip the center twice. Flip this center twice. And finally flip the center twice. You now have the checkerboard pattern. And you're back. See you guys in the next video.